out of the blue corner, we have a New Wave Academy representative with a perfect record of three wins and no losses. Please put your hands together for Paul Udusha! His opponent this evening, fighting out of the red corner, representing MMA 10 with a record of three wins, no losses, one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bartek Gorzalan. This is a featherweight semi-pro mixed martial arts bout to be contested over two four-minute rounds. So the great thing here in this fight, Ferrugia in the blue, Gorzalak in the red, Aaron, is the O has got to go. Ferrugia 3-0, and zero. Gorzalak three wins and only one draw. Neither man has known a loss between seven fights, so everything to fight for in this fight. Yep, and Ferruga's taken centre stage straight away. Some very focused. And oh, fantastic stand by Ferruga there, straight away. He certainly means business in the first round. Yes, instantly into side control there. And as you said, it, it was totally premeditated. He had no intention of doing anything except walking his man down and slamming him, did he? No, no not at all. That, that must, must have been his game plan. He knew exactly what he wanted to do first off the bat, and he's, he's controlling his man on the ground quite well there. There's blood already, if you've noticed. I don't know where from, but it's on the shoulder of Gorzilak immediately. I don't know where that's come from, whether it's a nick on the body or the finger or something, because it's certainly Gorzilak's face certainly doesn't seem to be bleeding. No, I think... Um, I think Farugas may have caught Nick when he was coming in on, um, on the left-hand side of his forehead. And he was looking, I thought, for north-south there, but obviously not. He's looking to pass his man's guard again now and get back into side control. Yes, we haven't had really... Uh, I've seen Bartek Gorzilek fight before, very, very strong fighter but he, he has had no opportunity to get into this opening round as such has he? No, he, you know, within the first few seconds he was on his back and um, he's automatically asking him to play catch up. Faruga's got back into side position there very well he passed his guard. And that's what I was just about to say to you because in semi-pro MMA it's one thing to get the man where you want him but as you're still learning your own game it's often another thing to do what you want but Ferrugia has impressed me as he's no ways wants to go and we can see why. Very impressive on the ground, great transitions. That's right, and he looks like he's, he's manoeuvring those arms, he's better in his position. There you go, full mount. Almost got swept there, but managed to keep full mount. Now he's getting his hooks in, he's a very good position fighter, and now he's working those arms to try and get a submission, but all managed to stop getting swept, swept again. Yes, Gorzilak um, determined in defence, but Ferrugia, as I said, before we've seen before where you, you get to position you feel more comfortable on the ground but you're not really sure what to do there as you're still learning your trade this isn't the case with Ferrugia at all is it no Ferrugia was he, he was just trying to get a Kimura there and he had the position there but he, he, he uh, lost the position he managed to get swept because he, he put too much into the Kimura and gave um, and gave Gorzalek a chance to sweep him and, and he's, he's done that and lost that position so now we'll see how good defensively Ferrugia is on the ground as Gorzalek gets his first chance to impress in this round now. Faruga seems to have quite a tight guard on him there. Yes, pulling his man in tightly. Yeah. Oh, he's working the submission from his back. Oh, no, he's tried an armbar, but... Now, you see, Gorzalek did the right thing, got out, stood up, and just he did a little bit, not showboating, but just shaking to get loose. Faruga was straight on him again. Yeah, that's the thing with these uh, featherweight fighters. They've got cardio for days, and uh, neither the guy looking particularly tired at the moment, despite all the action. Yes, I think Gorzalek was taken a bit by surprise there. He did his job, he got free, just shaking his limbs loose, and immediately his opponent was on him once more. That's right, he's, uh, he's looking to, to sink in a guillotine there, but I don't think he can quite stretch his body out enough to get to manage to crank the neck enough. Yes, and Ferrugia doing his best to take the pressure off as well. Yeah, he's got an opportunity to pass the guard there. If you were Bartek Gorzilak in this position, how long would you take on this opportunity before you thought, do you know what, it's more effort than reward? 
Yeah, he should, he should be trying to uh, use the cage to, to get back up on his feet at this time. I don't, I don't think he's going to get too much there. He's trying to soften his man up, but Faruga is obviously a competent grappler, and oh, he would he would have escaped that. And you're right, it is. It's a nick on on his face. Nothing serious for Faruga in the blue corner, but you must say over the course of the first round, he was the stronger of the two fighters, or, or the one doing most of the work. Yeah, he was. He, he took the um, initiative right off the bat, and he took his man down with a fantastic slam. That scored, must have scored him well with the judges, and uh, he controlled it from there. Now, we've only got two rounds. Gorzalek never seemed worried, seemed very cool and very calm, but that doesn't win you the round. What's he got to do in this second round here? I think he's got to do exactly what Faruga did, and straight off the bat, come to take the centre of stage, centre stage, take his man down, and, and look to control him. Yes, um, as I said, I've seen Bartek Gorzalek fight before. Very competent, very strong martial artist. Mixed martial artist, that is, as well. And he really wasn't given the opportunity in this first round. He must take it in the second. It's only two four-minute rounds. There is no third. And you can see the game um, with Gorzalek very calm, very relaxed. But he really must do something this round. He, he certainly has, and he, ha he can't fall into the same trap that, that, that Humphreys fell into in his fight and, um, and be too relaxed and get caught. Well, Faints looking to keep it upright, but again, taken down very quickly and convincingly. I, th I think that was a mixture of, um, of pulling guard there. It was a bit of a weak, uh, weaker takedown. I think uh, Faruga wanted it on the ground. Let's see how good he is at throwing those submissions out from his back. He got close to an arm by in the first round. But that slip three, so now once again is poor Ferrugia looking to get that side control. So you felt that Gorzilek was quite happy to go to his back there, but it hasn't really worked the way he wanted, has it? No, no, it hasn't. He's, um, he's being controlled there, but I think he uh, fancied himself with a uh, throwing up a few submissions from his back. But like I say, he hasn't been too successful with that. And uh, Faruga's looking to control his man like he did in the first round now. Yes, and there is only two rounds, so Bartek, Gorzalak really needs to work fast. And as I said, both these young fighters are unbeaten. And as I said, as semi-professionals, we can see the skill level there. But yep, and he's just been swept. Oh, that was a fantastic sweep by Gorzalak there. And probably at just the right time. Yeah, it was, he did exactly the same as he did in the first round. As soon as he was getting threatened by um, Kimura, he, he used it to sweep his man. But he finds himself on his back again, and these are dangerous times for Gorzalek. He really has to get this round to make sure of at least a draw here, because we feel he lost that first. He did, and it's, it's going to be a struggle for him to win this one. He needs to get his legs up higher and go for that submission. He's got those long legs, and he, he looks like he's got a strong guard there. If he can move them up a bit higher, make perhaps go for a triangle or, or try an armbar again. Because he doesn't need to figure his opponent out, has he? His opponent has set out his stall. He's relentless. Take down, work for submission. Take down, work for submission. That's right. So he's just got to use that, like he did. Like he used it to sweep him. He's got to use it to um, to see an opening and tap him out. Now Alex, our referee, looking closely because he might think that, despite what we're looking at, that there isn't a great deal going on at the moment. No, of course, that looks like he's he is trying to get his his legs higher um, and perhaps go for the triangle or the inverter. But I think Faruga's quite aware of that, and he, um, he keeps sit sitting up quite well. Oh, there we go. Yes, as you said, he's very aware. And good transitioning from Faruga as well. And he's used, that, he's used that to pass guard very well. He's got to be careful. He's, uh, Faruga's working that Kimura, but Gorzalek used it twice to sweep him. And Beautiful transitioning again, though, from Brugia. That was fantastic. That was straight out of there. Now, this is where Bartek has got to take advantage because, as I said, Brugia has set up his stall. He does not want to stand and trade. And you feel that if Bartek has got any he's chance of taking this... He's got the guillotine there. He's got the guillotine there. I was going to say it has to be on his feet and possibly stopping his man upright because the guillotine is no longer there and the side control is once more with his opponent. Yeah, and Farouk has been so good at keeping that. He's only really lost the side control when he's tried to attempt a submission. So with the clock ticking now, one of these men is going to feel a loss for the first time in his career. 
And we've got a feeling that unless things change dramatically, that will be Bartek Gozalak because Paul Ferrugia, he's been relentless in the pursuit of one thing, hasn't he? Yeah, take his man down and control him, and he's done it so well. And there you go, we've got the 10 second count there, and once more, he's in a commanding position, the man from the blue corner. Yeah, I can't see through, but there you go. There's no need to attempt a submission there. And he winks at his corner, and I think rightly so. Um, I said Bartek Gorzlak is an exciting fighter, but was allowed to do nothing tonight in sense of his upright game or anything else, because Ferrugia knew exactly what he wanted to do, what he wanted to do and he did it well. He did, and he did it straight from the very beginning, and he stuck to his game plan, he knew what he wanted to do, and it looks like he might have missed it. So on our card, which is unofficial, we field two rounds to zero, Ferrugia. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout went all the way to the time limit. But we have a winner in round two. By way of unanimous decision, fighting out of the blue corner, put your hands together for Paul Faruja. And a big round of applause for his opponent this evening, Bartek Gozalan.